Hello and welcome to Mojato on Art. In this episode, we take a look at a very special exhibition. We also meet an art access consultant and a very talented ceramist. From the world of Mojato, we bring you a story all the way from Jerusalem. All this and more only on Mojato on Art. The Kiran Nadar Museum of Art is now showcasing one of the most exotic collections of paintings from the 19th and 20th century. Like these, around me. Hidden away from the spotlight for the longest time and acquired from the south of India, these paintings are now available for all to see. Delectable Tangible Paintings first originated in the 16th century in the small town of Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu, a district known for its legacy of arts and crafts. Initially curated for the temples of South India, the paintings pose a heavy amount of gods and goddesses. stunning reserve of 200 Tanjavur artworks recently made its way into one of the most revered museums of Delhi, the Kiran Nadar Museum of Art. Tanjavur painting is a, a, a school that I am aware of for a long time, but it was, we've never seen a collection large enough to show it. It will show the diversity of Indian art to people, that it's not just modern, contemporary, or colonial art, or the miniature tradition. Uh, there are other traditions which, from which we have taken a lot into modern and contemporary. An unusual pursuit lasting 45 years by architect and town planner Kuldeep Singh, a North Indian and an unofficial collector of art, led to this treasure house of India's lost art form. As an architect of post-independent India, a modern architect who has made very interesting uh, buildings in, in Delhi and elsewhere, uh, I never knew this side of him. I had heard about it. That was really accidental, truly speaking. Somebody wanted a couple of Tanja paintings here in Delhi, and I brought a couple of paintings for him. He didn't like them. I left them in my office and I kept looking at them and I thought I would return them when I took my next trip back to Chennai. But I forgot. And when I had a little time, I went to the same dealer. I said, do you have more of those paintings? So something happened, I don't know. And that started this whole thing. The compact composition of the paintings adorned in gold, semi-precious stones, glass, supremely rich colours and iconography are a trademark style of art from southern India. But the use of auxiliary techniques marked the beginning of the influence of European art among Indian artists. The painting acquired some of the elements of Western art. For example, see, taking this painting, now this kind of lamp, you know, is very, very European and uh, colonial. You, you see these curtains over here. Now we, we didn't have that kind of theater like curtains and things like that. These were not done in our painting. We were doing much more flat work. So here, and also the idea of shading, for example, a little bit shading is seen here, which sort of gives the volume to form, which we're not doing. So this is a delightful combination of uh, an openness of the artists in southern India to new elements that were coming and still imbibing them and creating a very charming genre of painting uh, out of this combination. 
the introduction of Tanjavur paintings through the Kiran Nadar Museum of Art will escalate the status of the art form in times to come and its position as a role model in shaping India's modern and contemporary art history will finally see the light. My next step is further exploration and expanding the subject, not the collection but the subject. We are greatly conditioned by the concepts and inspirations which have gone into this type of art and we are not well aware of it and we take very false pride in 2000 or 3000 year old art and forget that we are a product of what transpired in the 18th and 19th century. In our next story we meet the very considerate and ingenious architect Siddhant Shah whose efforts in tactile reproduction of artworks has allowed several visually impaired people to witness art and appreciate it for the first time. Visual art, paintings, sketches, sculptures, wall hangings, it can only be consumed one way, visually, right? DAG Modern's exhibition titled Group 1890 is challenging this notion. Six children with varying levels of sight, ranging from fully blind to hard of sight, visited the exhibition. They all attend blind schools across New Delhi. And architect and access consultant Siddhant Shah is attempting to make these works available to all. People with visual impairment, how do you provide access to them, like a physical access? How do you get them inside those sites? That is what I work in because as my first degree as an architect. But my, my largest scope is to even talk about the intellectual access. Great that you can, you can get a person on a wheelchair inside a, a museum, inside a gallery, in front of a great artwork. But then what else? Like how is he going to understand what is happening over there? For, in case I'm here. Come. One minute. Come. We kind of created the tactile aid and tactile reproductions which would be given to them to touch, feel, explore and understand what it was. So tactile aid is about showing the surface quality. Like we all know like sometimes when you're looking at other we all are itching to touch them and when you don't get the chance you're like oh I missed out on something. So that is where we talk about different mediums, different materials, different textures that the artist is using. It is not, it is hard. It is hard, right? Yes. Look at it. Wait, wait. Atul, wait, one minute. Start from here, then here. It can go <laughs> anywhere, here, right? Like this also. So, does it have one path or it can go anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere, exactly. And that is how the artist has painted. Come. When we talk about the tactile reproductions, like for the one which we have done for Eric Bhavan over here, we've kind of created the same artwork but have done some changes where they can actually have the, the ridges have been expanded like you kind of give more surface to it you kind of make it more 3D and then they can touch and feel and then you open the whole the ground for discussion and start giving you the best ideas oh it feels like this, it feels like that It will look like a shivling Like a shivling? You know, Kushendra, you have said one time One time, one time I had the opportunity to experience these tactile reproductions as well. And another thing I feel it's really important is to work with them. Like I work with them. That another thing, it's a motor for me, like not to do anything for them without them. Because otherwise it's a very superficial thing. And I don't think that I'm going to mark my benchmark as what people think or what media has been writing about. But the best thing is the kids. The kids will, kids are the best judges. If they don't like it, they're going to tell you on the face, oh, I don't understand. What is the immediate thing that comes to your mind when you see this form? I mean, rolling hills is kind of what I'm thinking. Yes, perfect think of these things, right? The mm -hmm. smell that you had. So what kind of smell was it like? like? It was definitely like fresh, 
fresh. Floral. Yes. I got the sense of kind of lemony, but it was. Mm -hmm. So, what color is that thing that you associate immediately to it? Which is the color? The green and yellow. And then, when you have the hills, uh -huh. which is the immediate color that comes to your mind? Green. Green? Okay. And the bird, which color could it be? And the bird, <laughs> I don't know, a canary yellow is what I'm thinking. Okay. So, let's see if you've kind of created the picture. Can I take it off? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! And you, what you've touched is exactly like how the artwork is. We have such a rich culture, like we are a completely tangible culture, right? Like even at Diwali, like what is Diwali? Like for us it's the Rangoli, like touching it, like it is about feeling it, experiencing it. And we use our senses. Then why not in these spaces where we call it like the museums, art galleries, are spaces where we want to showcase our best culture, right? Then why not let people touch?